What is electromagnetism? Electromagnetism is uh, the magnetic effect of a charge. Remember, electric field is related to charge. That there is no no second opinion about it. But electric field is one type of field, and that is associated with a charge, whether it is at rest or it is moving. But when a charge is moving, it starts exhibiting two fields. A charge at rest. has an electric field. A moving charge this is a charge which is moving in this direction. has an electric field as well as a magnetic field. So pay attention over here. When a charge is moving, other than its electric field, it starts exhibiting another field. And that other field is called magnetic field. You can say a magnetic field is always a consequence of a moving charge. If there is electricity going in a straight line or it is moving in a circular path or there is a spinning charge, Now, listen, if current is going this way, if current is going this way, or in this case, current is moving in a circular path like this, or this is a charged particle which is spinning about itself. So this is charged particle, positive charged particle moving. This is a positive charged particle spinning. And electric current means a positive charged particle is going in a particular direction. Can you make your hand in this position?
So this is your right hand. This is your right hand fist. It is very much like uh, giving somebody a thumbs up. So make it make it like a uh, thumbs up somebody. Your fingers are pointing uh, or making a circle and your thumb is pointing in a straight line. So this is a straight line and your fingers are making a curve. So fingers represent quantity that is in curved path and thumb is pointing along the quantity in a straight line. So in the first case, the current will be represented by the thumb. Why? Because in this case, current is going in a straight line and your fingers will tell you the direction of the magnetic field around. Okay. So current is going in a straight line and there will be a magnetic field like this. How do I know the direction of these arrows that I'm putting over there? Magnetic field is a vector quantity. That how, how do I put those arrows? Actually, the fingers, the thumbnails are telling me the direction of in your imagination, can can you hold this rod in your hand? Like your thumb is pointing along the direction of the current. And when you hold this rod, in front of the rods, your fingers, the thumbnails of your fingers are pointing downward. It means uh, the direction will be along, along the line. Moving in a circular path, then the magnetic field it produces is in a straight line. In this case, when you use this right hand grip rule, the right hand grip rule, the, the uh, thumb will be pointing along the magnetic field, and you, your fingers will be telling you about the direction of. Okay, we have somebody who came very late today. Now, uh, sir. Sir, in the first diagram, yeah, uh, the blue is the magnetic field, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah. Then, uh,
Okay, somebody said something and I could not hear that. Can you now listen? If current is going in a straight line, the magnetic field around it will be in the circular path. In this case, hum represents current because it is in a straight line, and the fingers give you direction of magnetic field. But in the second one, I hope you can clearly see that the current is moving in a circular path. Okay, in, in the second one, current is going in a circular path. So fingers will be representing that of current. And thumb is giving you direction of magnetic field. Similarly, fingers are giving you direction of rotation of charge, actually positive charge. Thumb is giving you magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field in this case will be upward as well. So, what is magnetic field? Mm. Magnetic field, I think, is an area which in which uh an object is affected by the by a, by a magnet. Good, good, good. It is um, what you are trying to say in in different words is that it is the region of influence of a magnet. It is the region around a magnet where it can influence other magnetic materials or magnets or current uh, currents or moving charges. So here we go. Magnetic field. region around a permanent magnet or moving charge where they can attract or repel other magnets or magnetic materials is called magnetic field of permanent magnet or of charge. So a region around a they can attract or repel other magnetic materials or magnets or moving charges is known as their magnetic field. Direct magnetic field. Magnetic field is a vector quantity A vector quantity means it has direction So Magnetic field Has a
direction. And Mr. But the direction is always from uh, North Pole to South Pole, right? No, actually, that is a, that is a method of defining direction of magnetic field in junior classes. But yeah, we won't do that because we won't always have a south. It's not necessary that we are always drawing a magnetic field when we have a north and we have a south, and we have the liberty of making a magnetic field go from north to south. So what if we have a pole over there, a single uh, pole, uh, a single north pole of a magnet? What will be the direction of magnetic field of that? What will be the magnetic field of single south pole somewhere? Okay. So okay. direction of magnetic field is along the direction a north pole of test magnet experiences a magnetic force. Just once. Is a vector quantity. Every vector quantity has to have a direction, and and quantities cannot have direction in random. Way that there has to be a very specific rule to decide their direction. So, if you want to know, th there is a random magnetic field. There are so many magnets over there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight magnets over there. And you want to know what is the direction of magnetic field at a particular point because of all of those magnets present over there. So what you do is there is a there is a specific point where you want to know the, the direction and random the magnetic you just put a north pole magnet over there. Whatever direction that north pole experiences force is the direction of the magnetic field at that particular point. Okay, if if a north pole is attracted. It means north direction of uh, uh, magnetic field. It means direction of magnetic is in the opposite direction to that. No, no. Check. Direction of. magnetic field we use a compass or plot what is a compass This is a casing that has a glass topping, iron case, and inside this iron case we have a
How many of you have seen this kind of thing? Yes, I've seen it. Okay, well, on this side we have. Okay, something like this. We, this is the North Pole. This is the South Pole of the compass. It is pivoted on a very pointy thing over there. So it, it does not fall anywhere. Now, this is a compass that can point towards um, north, the needle points towards north, and we can use it to find the direction of north at any, any point. Now, a miniature of the is also used in labs. This is called plotting compass. This is not bigger than your thumbnail. Okay. Plotting compass. Such compasses are fit some uh, student bags. Sometimes we can see on hiking sticks. Sometimes we have them in uh, geometry boxes. So they are plotting compasses. They're very small, around the size of your thumb, thumb's nail. They're very small. They use to plot the direction of magnetic field at a particular point. So. We have a bar magnet like this. There's a North Pole over here. There's a South Pole over here. So what you do is you, you just, for example, want to plot the direction of the magnetic field around this bar magnet. What you do is you put your compass here. The compass has North and the South Pole. The, the north, South side will be attracted by the North. And the north side will be repelled. So this is how this, this needle should be. This needle will be pointing like this. The arrow will be exactly up, away from the north. So what you can do is you can put a dot at the back. You, you can put a dot at the back and the front. Okay, now you can place again. Make sure the south is pointing towards the dot here that you made. The compass will be somewhere like this. Put a dot again. So you keep making dots again and again. And what happens is, when you see them all, you will find out that there is a magnetic field line like this. This is pointing this way over here, away from the north towards south. This is why we say that the magnetic field is uh, from north to south. Apparently, it looks like that, but it is decided on the basis of what direction north pole of a test magnet is experiencing force. Now, 
there will be another line if we don't want to leave that that will be over here yeah but drawing the dots you can just find it out in the middle there will be a direct line which will be like this there will be a line like this these incomplete lines are actually very large magnetic field lines so they also complete a cycle but the problem is they complete that cycle which is very very big so we cannot draw it over here right now So at south, the field lines come in. This is the direction of and, and pattern of magnetic field of a bar magnet. Arrows are very important because it is a very quantity without arrows. You're not providing complete information about the magnetic magnetic field lines represent magnetic field pattern. Number one, direction of field line show the direction in which North Pole of Man Magnet will experience a force. Number two, strength of magnetic field. is shown by density of field lines. To show stronger field, To show strong field, make lines closer to one another. Like near end of bar. The bar magnet that we made. Where do you see all lines close to one another? Yeah. 
if you remember when we made the bar हम्म निकाल यो लाइक 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 द साउंड ऑफ सर इट इट इज़ वेरी लैगिंग राइट वी नॉट गेट पॉइंट सॉरी व्हाट टू सेइंग यू वांट मी टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू और व्हाट No, no, no. I know, I know the topic, but like, uh, sir, sound is like very loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is lagging. It is lagging. <laughs> I thought it's my internet problem. <laughs> Are you the batch of twenty one to twenty twenty three? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll graduate this year. You graduated this year, or like you, you are the batch? No, no. I will. I will. I will graduate this year. You will. I graduated. I have. Uh, I had the physics and chemistry left. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. I think there is electricity problem over there. Okay, I'm back live again. Okay. Um if you want to show stronger magnetic field what you do is you make the field lines drawn closer to one another when field lines will be closer they will show that the field is is strong like i hope you can see near the edges or ends of the bar magnet the lines are very close to one another so it means the
something is seriously not right today with the internet. So the action of field lines and, and we are done with this. Okay. In the, in the next lesson, we will study magnetic field density and force on current carrying conductor. Okay, this will be the topic for the next lesson. It will be tomorrow, same time. See you people then. Thank you very much. Take care. Gotcha, sir.